This video will explore how Inspire simplifies the REAC inspection process. By categorizing the areas into unit, inside and outside, this new approach ensures that all assisted housing residents live in safe and habitable conditions. Let's take a look at each category. First, let's define what a unit in HUD housing means. A unit refers to the interior components of an individual dwelling, essentially where the resident lives. This includes all the elements that make up the living space, ensuring that residents have a safe and comfortable environment. Next, we have the inside category, which encompasses common areas and building systems within the building's interior that are not part of a unit. Examples of such areas include laundry facilities, workout rooms, and other shared spaces. Inspectors examine these areas to make sure they are safe and well-maintained for all residents. Lastly, the outside category refers to the building site, exterior components, and any building systems located outside of the building or unit. This can include playgrounds, sidewalks, air conditioning units, and other outdoor elements. Inspectors assess these areas to ensure they are safe and free from hazards. To further clarify the inspection process, each standard lists the areas or items within each inspectable location that the standard applies to. For instance, the handrail standard mentions stairs, hallways, and ramps as inspectable items in the unit category. It's important to note that a deficiency's potential impact on resident health and safety may vary depending on its location. Each standard's rationale will clearly explain these differences. For example, an inoperable toilet in a unit may have a different rationale in health and safety classification than one in a common area. If you would like to learn more about the inspectable areas and standards, you can visit the link provided with this video. As always, please visit navigatehousing.com for more information. Thanks for watching.